chainsaw machines, busy cutting through branches of trees hanging out into the road. A duty assigned to the Department of Parks and Gardens has for years seen no action. A joint team of officials from the National Disaster Management Organization and the Electricity Company of Ghana are now up the trees by the help of a crane. From a height of about 15 meters, the men are trying to clear the debris of trees which fell onto the houses and blocked the road. Before now, at least two people had fallen off mid-air while attempting to clear the trees. We had loud sound around 3 a.m. on Sunday dawn. We came out to see the huge tree blocking the road, so the boys tried to clear it. One of them was confirmed dead, while the other, a NADMO official, is still receiving treatment. Unfortunately, one of our guys was standing. By then, when this tree fell, it was hanging there. It didn't come down. So he was cutting one of the, these branches on this roof. When he cut it off, then this place, uh -huh, then he springing to the up, then he came to further. down. He bounced all the way into the sky. sky. Then the head came to hit the ground, then it blast. My incident didn't happen, you know. Now you try to say, you know, but unfortunately, taxi drivers will be a duo. When it happened, we all tried to help, but no taxi driver wanted to help until a good Samaritan helped us. In no time, we saw the NADMO official also falling down. His colleagues picked him in their car and took him to the hospital. Right adjacent to the scene of the accident is a home of deceased, Edmund Dano. The 52-year-old mechanic sprayer had gone to help the boys to clear the debris. Now, his wife and two children have to live knowing he's never returning again. He has spokesperson for the family. Uh, uh, Uncle Edis, he's a very calm guy. He, he's married with, with two kids. And uh, the first one is in Accra Polytechnic. And the second one too is a uh, Prisecan, which is a Prisec Legon. This, this is very sad, as you can see. You can see behind me, the wife cannot even come out. The, the sisters are all here. The father, everybody. So it's, it's, it's very sad. It's a, it's, a, it's a sad moment to all of us because um, unexpected. It, it was a shock to all of us. Somebody that I can say, we, 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 I even spoke to him uh, around 4.30. Less than two hours then this happened. So it's, it's, a, it's a shock. It's a shock to us. And people are still not even believing it. Yeah, some of us, we have to go to the bank to see with the eye before we could confirm if... if it is true. It's, it's, it's a sad news to us, especially being, being a breadwinner of the family is, is, is very sad. But they blame authorities for not acting early enough to prune the overgrown avenue trees on the road. It could. It could, it could have been prevented. It could. It could. It could. We, ha we, ha we have an assemblyman in this area and they've seen this you know, today. I mean, these trees, they are, if, if I'm not lying, it will be over, over 20 years. And if they are overgrown, you need to do pruning, proper pruning. But they left them. Even if you go to the top, there are all that trees there. Then they don't care. It's very sad. It's very sad. It's very sad. So we, we I think we, we should be proactive as 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 as, as a nation. The authorities should be proactive in certain things. You don't wait for something to happen before you take actions. And it's quite sad, my brother. So yeah. At this point, who's going to take care of the wife, really, and then the the children? Now, with sad faces, the deceased family, like many of the other residents in the area are dreading another disaster as the trees continue to grow into the road. Manuel Cranting, Joy News, Accra.